So there's a good chance I'm going to say some things in today's video that some of you or many of you are going to disagree with, and some of you might even be angry. Let's talk about this. So Kathleen Kennedy apparently has a contract extension. We don't know if that is legit news yet. More and more people are reporting on it now. It started yesterday, but we don't know. There's no evidence to suggest that it actually happened, but we're going to assume in today's video that it did happen. We're going to assume the worst, that Kathleen Kennedy will be at Lucasfilm, the president of Lucasfilm through 2024, what does that mean, and where are we in that process? How do we feel about that? How are we responding and reacting to that? And that is what I want to get into today because I see some things online that is very disturbing. And some of you uh, might be a little surprised that I have the frame of mind that I have. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's first talk about Kathleen Kennedy's tenure, and I, and I am not supporting... Kathleen Kennedy. I'm just going over the facts. That's all that I'm doing. Uh, her tenure, very divisive. No question about it. And let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, let's go ahead and point out the elephant in the room. I cannot stand the sequel trilogy. I will never watch it again. Ever. I'll probably never watch another Ryan Johnson film or a J.J. Abrams film. Ever. Ever. Heart was broken, shattered all over the place. I'm, I'm done with all that. But that's not what this is about. Only, only very, very little. Uh, her tenure, five movies. We have five movies, and I'm going to say one and a half of those were good. One, Rogue Squadron. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rogue Squadron. <laughs> you can tell what's on my brain. One, um, oh, man. It's so good, I forgot the name. It's so good, I forgot the name. Jen Erso. Andor. Rogue. Oh. Rogue One. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Rogue One was a decent movie. Good movie. I'm not going to say it's great, but far and away the best movie that we've gotten from, from Lucasfilm since the purchase. The next movie uh, that I said was referring to as half good would be The Force Awakens. Half good. It was half good. And then it was destroyed by the next movie after it. And it's not good at all now. That's why half good round down, half good round down. Um, so very divisive tenure. You know, you got a couple of animated shows come out uh, that were that were excellent. Uh, the Bad Batch was really, really good. And uh, Clone Wars Season 7, some of the best Star Wars we've ever gotten. Um, you know, and you get the uh, animated movies. Um you know, the, the animation that's, that was, it was decent. It was decent. Uh, but Phil Lord and Chris Miller fired from solo. They parted ways with Josh Trank, Colin Trevorrow, and now most recently Patty Jenkins, uh, along with this Patty Jenkins revelation, uh, we find out that Ryan Johnson's trilogy has been shelled. If you think back to February, Ryan Johnson is saying in interviews and tweeting his Star Wars trilogy is still happening. He's just got to get with Lucasfilm and figure it all out moving forward. Not anymore. When they say something is shelved, that it's going away forever. We will never see it again. Delayed, indif suspended indefinitely, things like that, gone. It's gone and not happening is what that means. Um, so 
you know, that happened. And then the book of Boba Fett is set to arrive next month, followed by many other shows. We don't know anything about live action films yet, but many other shows are about to happen. So then we get an influx of the rumor. Kathleen Kennedy, uh, at first, for several months now, maybe over years, people have been calling for uh, Kathleen Kennedy to be fired. We have made videos. That's something that we would be okay with. If Kathleen Kennedy is removed from Lucasfilm, retires, whatever, rides off into the sunset and give us somebody that we feel better about being the president of this precious company. Um, I would be supportive of that. Hasn't happened yet. A lot of people have been creating content and, and saying she's getting fired. It is imminent. It's happening. And if this rumor is true, all of that is wrong. And that's okay. It's okay to have a take and you're wrong about it. But, you know, the thing about this whole thing is that people are losing their minds when it is announced, the rumor is announced that Kathleen Kennedy's contract has been extended through 2024. Why are they losing their minds? I don't know because I'm not them. So for, for various reasons, I would say that maybe for them it is all of the problems are Kathleen, Kathy Kennedy and she's got to go or Star Wars has no hope. Or like one of our one of our one of the channels that we love came out with a video today that said basically uh Kathy Kennedy wins Star Wars is dead. Well, here's the thing, guys. I can't disagree with that anymore. Anymore. Here's the thing. I don't care if Kathy Kennedy is there or not. I don't care. As long as we get great Star Wars. I'm not after Kathy Kennedy's firing or her head or her puppy or anything. I don't want that. I want great Star Wars. And maybe uh, maybe that's exactly what we're get to, about to get more of. There are people online saying things like, since since the rise of Skywalker or whatever, as long as Kathy Kennedy's there, I will never watch Star Wars again. I've never seen any of the Mandalorian. Well, okay, I respect your opinion, but here's the thing I want you to understand is that 99% of all Star Wars fans loved the Mandalorian, especially season two, especially the last three or four episodes you missed some of the best Star Wars that we've ever gotten. You missed the return of our hero? Because Kathy Kennedy? What? So that's something that I don't really understand, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm meaning to come across in a kind way, but, but I am sharing with you my thoughts and feelings. We are a Star Wars channel, and we love Star Wars. If it's terrible Star Wars, we're going to call it that. We're not going to support that. This is no echo chamber. This is echo-based network where we speak our minds. And we respect your opinion, so we ask that you be able to accept ours in return. Even those of you watching this video making comments in the comment section, I respect your video beforehand. You haven't even commented yet when I'm saying this, and I respect your opinion already, but please respect mine while you're in this space. Uh, if you could, you know, if I can handle your opinion, surely you can handle mine. So, you know, many YouTubers are banking on her firing. So far, it's not happened. And it doesn't appear that it is going to happen. Uh, but here's the craziest thing about all of it. Star Wars very well could be headed in the right direction right now. It could be doing an about face. It could be rounding the corner. Star Wars could be rounding third base, about to slide into home for the win. We don't know. We don't know until the content comes out. We don't know until we see the book of Boba Fett. We don't know until we see Mando chapter three or Ahsoka, you know, or Kenobi. Kenobi's a big one. So we don't know. Uh, and, and think about it. And again, I'm not making excuses for Kathy Kennedy. I'm not. But what I do want to say is she was president of Lucasfilm. They came out with the movie, The Force Awakens. Many people were good with The Force Awakens. Some weren't. Some had, some had disdain for it from the get-go. I respect that. I loved it when I first saw it. I loved it until the moment I walked out of the theater from uh, The Last Jedi. That killed the movie for me. That killed The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and everything after that. Killed it. 
So, but think about Kathy Kennedy's position. She comes out with a movie, makes the poor decision to allow three different directors, which didn't actually happen. We got two different directors. And then she makes the poor direction to give these guys way too much creative freedom with Star Wars, uh, with the movies. So that, uh, that backfired. And she needed a Dave Filoni saying, no, 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 this, this is not a good direction. But instead, she got some lukewarm Star Wars fans in J.J. Abrams, I don't even like saying the name, and Ryan Johnson making these horrible Star Wars films. And Kathy was stuck. She was stuck. There was no salvaging the sequel trilogy. None. There was no salvaging. Once that thing was handed off to Ryan Johnson, it was over. It was over. But since then, with the exception of the High Republic, most of the things that we've gotten have been very good. And I know that we've got some people who are fans of the High Republic. I am not. Uh, I have no interest in that. But The Mandalorian, excellent. The Clone Wars Season 7, excellent. The news that we've gotten about the revival of LucasArts, excellent. Let's see how the games are, though. Let's see how the games are. we we, we got to wait. But there is too much good news right now. And then you couple that with the fact that Ryan Johnson's trilogy just got shelved. Yeah, that Ryan Johnson. Does it make sense to us that Ryan Johnson's trilogy gets shelved while Kathy Kennedy gets a three-year contract extension? Those two things do not coincide. They don't go together. They are in polar opposition from each other the way that the fan base views Kathy Kennedy. But what if there's a change happening? What if she got rid of Patty Jenkins because she didn't think it was going to be good for Star Wars? What if she saved us? I'm just saying what if. I'm just saying what if. I don't know. I don't know. And, and, I, and, I'm, and here's the thing. I'm not really giving Kathy the benefit of the doubt. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Kathy Kennedy. But what I am saying is, ultimately, it doesn't matter who is in charge at Lucasfilm. All that matters is that we're getting great Star Wars. Great Star Wars that the majority of the fandom can get behind and love and appreciate and move forward and take Star Wars to other places. Don't compete with the original trilogy. Don't, be, don't try to be better than. Try to continue George's legacy and what he made. That's what we want. That's what the fans want. So anyways, guys, uh, you know, the whole Kathy Kennedy extension and the Ryan Johnson shelved project not ever going to happen, those two things don't go together. And that is the possible indication that Star Wars is in a state of healing. So what do we do now? We sit back, we observe, we watch, we take notes, and then we make our decision. That's the state that I'm in right now. I am not waving the flag saying, it's over, Kathy has won, Star Wars has lost. No, sir. I'm going to fight for the Star Wars that I love. And you will too here at Echo Base Network. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. We will be discussing all of these things, all of this news, this Thursday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And we will be having a massive viewer pop-in session. You will be able to join us here at Echo Base Network and speak your mind on all of these things, all of these latest happenings with Star Wars and the fandom and what's happening at Lucasfilm. As always, I'm the coach for Nick. We are, you are, Echo Base Network, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and we would like to give a special thank you to all of our members. You make what we do here at Echo Base Network possible, and we appreciate you more than we could ever explain. If you haven't already, join the best Star Wars community on YouTube today here at Echo Base Network, and we appreciate your consideration. As always, we are, you are, Echo Base Network. May the Force be with you, and we'll see you on the next one.